Yeah, can do. Hello, welcome to another week at the bungalow. Uh, this week we are clearing the rest of the garden. Uh, also started pulling the fence posts out of the ground. And I think we had a bit of a burn up as well. So the corner of the garden was pretty overgrown where the whole garden was. And we were going to replace the rear fence, which uh, meant needing a bit of access. So of course, like all things, started with the clearing up. No particular easy way of doing it. It was just yeah, cutting what we could, dragging it out, piling it up. Uh, we had a bonfire in the middle of the garden ready, or a, a pile starting with the uh, fence panels from last week. That's pretty much what happened to all of it. As you can see, as the fire burns down in the background, I thought I'd have a go at uh, trying to dig out the fence posts. Uh, they're uh, about eight foot long concrete fence posts which weigh a ton on their own and somebody decided to concrete them into the ground with an awful lot of concrete. So we needed some uh, slightly better way of doing it slightly more efficient, well so we thought, and that leads on to pretty much the purpose of the rest of this video, which you'll see is the uh, saga that was. So the great idea of jacking them out. So we dug out as much as we could as you can tell from here. We took, took as much dirt off the top of the concrete foundation as we could on the bottom of the post with the idea of uh, jacking them through and pulling them out of the ground which, you know, according to the YouTube videos I'd watched, looked like it was going to be easy. And the idea was put the blocks of wood around Four, four ton car jack or bottle jack over the other side and then we'd use that to pull the post out of the ground no no bother at all unfortunately as much as it does work, it's very time consuming. Uh, 
and what we spent the next two, three days doing, you'll see in the next uh, few minutes. Because as much as anything, you just can't get the lift on it. So you need to pull, I suppose the posts are half meter into the ground, 500 mil. And um, with the bottle jack on the, jack on the end of the uh, pieces of timber, we're getting maybe 10 centimeters of lift. And then it's all the rearranging of the blocks every single time, pumping it up, blending it down, balancing it all back together again. It just doesn't move very much. But as we did, I guess people just persevere and just carry on because you've got to get all the posts out. We had 11 posts all exactly the same. Uh, and we just need to get them out. Right. And then of course you try uh, brute strength and ignorance. Working on the fact that it can't be that heavy, <laughs> you must be able to get it out. I'm trying not to fall in the bushes. And then it goes like this, and you think, oh, getting somewhere, winning. But then, yeah, it's another hour. of trying to get all the, trying to get it out still. And as you can see, yeah, they're massive and they're ever so heavy. You barely, barely lift it with the amount of concrete that's on the end of it. A blooming great lollipop. I mean, we're in clay, and so I'm assuming that whoever had concreted it in didn't want the post to move, which they did anyway. The clay heave over the 20 years they've been in the ground had shifted some of them all the way over. So it didn't make a lot of difference. And then we move on to the next one. And try the same process. I think this may well have been the next day. So you think the next one's gonna be easier and it won't be so difficult. If you've just got one post to do, I think it's probably all right. It sort of works, you don't need many tools. I think it was the sheer frustration in the end. We, we had a couple of times where the pile of timber collapsed or sprung to one side or various other things. 
and decided it was uh, just a just a bad move. There you go. And once again, the last bit is still pulling out by hand. We tried, as you can see, we tried a ratchet strap, pulling it with that. All sorts of things. But on the next video, you'll see the final solution we came to which we felt worked better. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.